Don't hurt yourself by being patient with many tense relationships, many provocations, many pains full of mistrust. Don't live your life gasping for justification and proving your innocence. Relationships were created only to make each other happy. Those who hurt you stay away from them. And the environment that annoys and suffocates you is others. Do not participate in negative dialogues and sharp discussions. Don't think about the past and plan positively for tomorrow. Whoever hurts you, keep a sufficient distance between you and him, and do not touch him too much. Whoever winks and blinks in speech avoids dialogue with him and thus closes one of the doors of evil. Give up your relationship with those who plot against you and exploit you and delegate your command to God. There is nothing that you are unable to obtain in this world as long as you are mentally convinced of the possibility of obtaining it. Nothing hurts more than the fall of a bottle we once thought was a real face. Do not associate yourself with negative people, because this is reflected in your behavior. Fill your emptiness with goodness, adhere to a balanced program, and do not forget to accompany the benevolent people of your skin and constantly mix with those who love you and contribute to your development. Stay away from people who try to belittle your ambitions, while the great ones make you feel that you can become one of them. Don't let people's ignorance of you overwhelm your self-knowledge. Freedom from the myth of not having enough time is the first station from which we proceed to an organized life and optimal use of time and life in general. Learn from the mistakes of others, as you will not live long enough to make them all yourself. There is no failure, but there are experiences and experiences. Any successful person will find many falls and slips. Whenever you throw the ball to the ground with force, it will return to you higher and faster. I am here now at this time in this image, but the past has ended with everything in it. A person's past is only experiences, experiences, knowledge and skills, nothing more and nothing less. Notice your thoughts because they will turn into words. Notice your words because they will turn into actions. Notice your actions because they will turn into habits. Watch your habits because they will determine your destiny. It is your thoughts that determine your destiny. If it wasn't for my challenges, I wouldn't have learned. If it wasn't for my misery, I wouldn't have been happy. If it weren't for my pain, I wouldn't be relieved. And if it weren't for patience, I wouldn't be healed. If it wasn't for my poverty, I wouldn't be rich. And if it wasn't for my failure, I wouldn't have succeeded. If you are with God, you are with the absolute majority. If you don't try to do something beyond what you have mastered, you will never progress. Failures are divided into two categories, those who think and never act, and those who act and never think. With every right, there is a responsibility. So why do people only mention their rights? Running is the only reason you fail, so you will succeed as long as you don't stop trying. When you rise, your friends will know who you are, but when you fall, you will know who your friends are. Sometimes God Almighty closes a door in front of us in order to open another better one for us, but most people waste their focus, time, and energy looking at the door that has been closed instead of the door of hope that has opened wide before them. Mercy is deeper than love, purer and purer. In it is love. In it is sacrifice. In it is self-denial. In it is tolerance. In it is sympathy. In it is forgiveness. And in it is generosity. If it were not for my challenges, I would not have learned. And if it were not for my unhappiness, I would not be happy. And if it were not for my pain, I would not have rested. If it were not for my illness, I would not have healed. If it were not for my poverty, I would not have. If it were not for my loss, I would not have existed. If it were not for my failure, I would not have succeeded. And if it were not for my realization, I would not have become. Every day the sun rises, we are called. I am a new day and your work is a martyr, so take advantage of me, for I will not return to the day of resurrection. Take advantage of every moment of your life and live every moment as if it were your last. Be careful not to let your goals be mere wishes or desires, for that is the merchandise of the poor. What you see now is nothing but a reflection of what you did in the past and what you will do in the future is nothing but a reflection of what you do now. Don't compare yourself to others. You must realize that there are many differences between people. Mix with positive people and stay away from the hopeless, whose despair can destroy you. Set before you an ideal, the most honorable of creation, the messenger of God. May God bless him and grant him peace.
Also, make a list of the pros and cons of all your decisions that you might take, and make a study of the subject from all sides. Learn from past experiences, review previous decisions, and learn about all the negatives that occurred before, and you should benefit from them. Set aside time to think, set aside half an hour daily to think, relive your day in a quiet place, and think carefully about your goals. Force yourself to focus on the positives and teach yourself how to look for those positives. Commitment to prayer and always reading the Holy Quran, because the Holy Quran provides people with reassurance and tranquility. Take care of your appearance and don't neglect yourself. And running away is the only reason for failure, so you can succeed as long as you keep trying. Realizing how you think is the beginning of change. In addition, your eyes are only a reflection of your thoughts. Reality is nothing but perception. If you want to change the reality of your life, start by changing your perception. He who understands people is wise, and he who understands himself is open-minded. Beware of negative thoughts that may come to your mind in the morning, as they can program your whole day with negative emotions. Fortify your mind from negative thoughts, resist the dark waves, and never receive messages that are not in your favor. Be proud of your positivity while avoiding all meanings of vanity. Record your achievements on the pages of your heart, and think about them when you face weaknesses and challenges. Your positive vision of yourself always drives you to success. Always think about what makes you happy and stay away from what worries you. If you don't control your thoughts, you lose your feelings. God gave man the five senses and gave successful people two other senses, patience and perseverance. Nothing is more necessary to achieve success of any kind than perseverance, for it transcends everything, even nature. Results need time to mature. Don't quit halfway. Be more patient. Stay away from people who try to belittle your ambitions when great people make you feel that you can become one of them. Live every moment as if it were the last moment. Live with your love for God Almighty. Live with the morals of the messenger. Peace and blessings be upon him. Live with hope. Live with struggle. Live with patience. Live with love. And appreciate the value of life. Your life is nothing but a reflection of your thoughts. If you change your view of things, the things you look at change. Against everything that has its origin, if it were not for the opposite of the meaning, the meaning would not have meaning. Every great achievement is a story of a spirit filled with motivation and enthusiasm. Perception constitutes 50% of change, and change is the beginning of growth and growth. If it is based on balance, then it is the engine of progress. We see what we do not want and want what we do not see, so we lose the value of what we see and get lost in the mirage of what we do not see. Be careful not to lose the value of what you see. There are times when we feel that it is the end, then we discover that it is the beginning, and there are doors that we feel closed, then we discover that it is the real entrance. When you don't know what to do, your real work begins, and when you don't know which path to take, your real journey begins.